Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, My Jewelry Addiction. My name is Tanya and I'm addicted to jewelry. Um, this is one of the little things that I'm going to be bringing to auction tomorrow. Um, it's a vintage jewelry box and it's full. And I'm just going to put that in there. And it's really cute. It does have a little wear. It's leather. I think a little, just needs a little TLC, but it's super cute. I think, uh, I think someone, especially like an, an artist, if you just match the color, um, acrylic paint, if you can match that color, just so you could just, just do little touch-ups all the way around. And I think it would be just fine. But Look at all the lovelies in there. I've just shown a lot of these recently. So here's what um, here's what's happening. So we are going to do a live show tomorrow, um, bringing you all these lovely things. Uh, not just these, but there's a bunch of stuff in here. Oh, this is my... Um, I used to have all my little jars. Yes, I'm still in the jammies. It's cold this morning. It's Sunday. <laughs> um, I finished my room yesterday and I went to bed at like 7.30 after I took a shower and I had painted yesterday. I did a bunch of stuff. But anyways, this is my, this is my desk. And I had a hook here and I had another hook hanging here that were just full believe that's a Miriam Haskell piece, but, um, I got my little doggy beds down here. This room was actually added on to the house. Um, yeah, this room was added on to the house. Uh, I don't know when this house was built in 1929. Um, but there's my shipping station or not shipping station. This is my office. So this room has, it's a multi-purpose room now. Um, you know, I've got the two office chairs here. I've actually got both of my sewing machines down there. And then I'm a hoarder of boxes. I've got a whole bunch of boxes down there and some canvases down there. I've got a whole bunch of canvases right there that are, uh, whatever. But yeah, this is the little new computer setup printer that we still haven't even set up. It's just out of the box now. Hello, everyone. <laughs> um, my little vintage curtains, but yeah, you know, just some stuff that uh, we need for our shipping station. All of our printing materials. The thing is, um, yeah, this here. Oh, and I moved all of my beads up top. Or not all of them. I've got a lot more beads than that, but the ones that are organized in containers. You see, we had a little chaos over here. Oh, and I have a little paint sprayer. But uh, this whole wall here used to be windows. And then with stuff that I had found on the side of the street, all of this melamine stuff, I built this. Um, I built all these shelves. This was actually going to be my jewelry station. This opens up and it's got leather inside of there. As you can see here, it lifts up, but we can't get in there anymore. But yeah, this is, I mean, all of this, this, all these walls. Well, we did buy some two by fours and stuff, but, um, and then like I picked these up. This is the shipping station now. So I've got my boxes, bubble wrap, tapes. These are all of my customers right here so far. We've got our thank you cards, stickers. Um, and then in here, there's individual baggies for our, for our sales down here. There's just hordes of those because my store finally did get them in. I guess that barge came in. Larger bags for bigger orders. Um, these are um, out-of-the-country shipping things that I need to fill out. We have our alcohol right here for cleaning. Then, of course, all of our padded envelopes, boxes. And then um, little boxes, jewelry boxes. Um, and I have more, but this is what fit up here in this space right now. 
But yeah, there's windows all the way back there. Um, we did insulation. Uh, the windows are still on the outside of the house, but it, this was a weird room uh, when they added it on. You can see here, you can see the, uh, well, what do you call that stuff? Yeah, this is outside. <laughs> this was just added on. That goes into my dining room. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to share my art room. Um, some of my little things that I collect. It's beginning to be a little bit much. Um, but again, I never had intentions of keeping any of this stuff. It was just a lot of this stuff hold value. Um, if you guys don't know, and some of it is sentimental, I guess there's some pieces that I just, just think are really, really cool. And, uh, that I love. Um, there might be a few things missing right here on these bottom two rows. Cause my granddaughter likes to stand on this chair where princess is, and she loves all her little things and she can only reach right there. And so I'll find some things in her pockets when she comes over. She's cute. I was thinking about doing this, uh, covering that with jewelry one day. So I reorganized, I took, that was my tool station over there. Yeah. And again, I didn't spend any money on a lot of this stuff. I mean, you know, this stuff was free. I picked these up at a thrift store. Um, don't pay attention to what's happening down here because I also hoard frames and scrolls and I, I like to redo my own art with fabric and whatnots and, and there's canvases and this is shipping paper here, but I have my window open. Sorry guys. Um, yeah, I was going to redo this and use the frame because of the size for a scroll that I have an Asian scroll. Um, I like to wear my hats in the winter time. So yes, that was my tool station and then I had to, well, I didn't have to, but I purchased this a few days ago, um, this unit at a thrift store. It was black, so I just spray painted it white yesterday, um, and I got all my tools in here because I need my tools. I like to build things. I like to, I, you know, I, I don't have a husband anymore, so I got to do stuff on my own. And it's nice when I have everything nice and organized and I know where all that stuff is. So you don't, uh, yeah, it's important to me. And this time of year outside, I do have a lot of tools outside, but this time of year outside, um, everything gets a little rusty. So I've got all my screws and nails and stuff in there. Yeah, I just had to move some stuff around a little bit. Um, I've got all my paper goods there because we do make cards and all sorts of stuff. Got all my, I just threw all my scrolls and my, um, my, I've got a big easel right there in the corner and that's another table easel there. It's a vintage one. Some more books there. Oh, let's see all of my paints. Uh, this is something my son had made for me in school. This as well. Um, this is a plant that my cat has literally shredded. So I just had to move this. <laughs> Look at, I had to move it up here. And again, I only got, um, cat friendly, um, plants for my house. Yeah. Anyways, I've got some little, little trays, little things for painting. I've got pens and pencils and more pens and oh this is uh you know hot glue and this is for wood got some stuff there but yeah all of my paints there's some puffy glitter paint here whatever paint brushes what's that oh some more pencils hot glue sticks um mod podge you name it um Every glue known to man, spray glue, 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 <laughs> love my glues, um, hot glue again. Um, this is really cool. If you don't have one of these, it's super cool. It's a precision tip 
hot glue gun. So it's just like, it comes out like pen size. It's really cool. Someone had asked about my crystals. This is what I have left in my collection. The ones that didn't get buried in my backyard. Um, yeah, they just sit here in the window. And here's some of my plants. Of course, you guys have seen right out my window. And there's my hummingbird feeder that I get to look at every day. These, um, you know, we, we made all these. These were, you know, they came right off of, oh, where'd she go? I just had a big spider plant. Oh, that one's outside. Never mind. Um, more pencils. I got a couple little palettes there for painting and there's a few little crafty things in here there's my little resin thing that I made that just kind of went to the wayside um, I have a lot of these crystal ball things I've been collecting those for a while and my mom collected them too um, this is an orchid you guys that my daughter had bought me for maybe Christmas last year and look it's getting ready to bud again. It's getting ready for flowers on both sides. I'm real excited. I have never, ever uh, been able to grow an orchid. And, yeah, this is my, my little tools and pens. And these are just, yeah, little things that I've been, whatever. Yeah, I used to have all my jars right across here, but I, I need this space now. And then this stuff here. This is reverse painted from the inside. And it's just got all these beautiful women around there. If you guys have never seen that process, it's really quite amazing. And I told you I'd show you this one up close. So it's frosted, carved into, and then the red dome in the center. That one's a signed piece there. Just got some cute little hangy things that I like my little Asian chandelier here. This is a very handy little tool. It's got a light and a major magnifier. And I've got, oh, I put my books over here. I moved uh, my sewing machines were here, I think. And so I moved my sewing machines down there out of the way. And I moved my books from up there. I moved my books down here. I moved my thread and stuff in here. Yeah, who knows what's in there. Sunglasses and, um, you know, some she seashell stuff that I craft with. This is like garbage bags and cleaning products that I need a lot. Um, this is sewing supplies. I've got two sewing baskets in here, needles, and, you know, I, 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 I have a thing for fabrics, like this kind of stuff. I, I use this to make other art with or make purses and costumes, whatever. This is all crystals and, um, well, it looks like there's some chain in there, but most of that is crystals. I've got free space. Um recycled bags these are all the bags I've kind of gone through since starting this adventure like stuff I've sold and that have come out of bags and then you guys saw my scissors they look like they need to be organized a little bit better um, just some cute little I collect boxes as we've all talked about or I think everyone has a little thing with boxes these have nothing but T's in there. My aunt bought me all these um, Scrabble pieces with T's because um, that's what I would use to sign my things that I've done for her. My little, uh, um, that's a stupa. If you guys don't know what that is. It's very interesting. Um, yeah, I just have a whole bunch of little, you know, she's, one of those elements. These are really old marbles. There's some really good ones in here that are worth some money. There's some little peewees in there. Uh, more balls and some blown glass way up there. That's a beautiful vase up there. 
Ganesha, some hands. I don't know. I still need to put some things. Uh, I have to change some things around. That's a neat one. That's got all the, you know, gemstones and stuff in it. Inlaid into it. Just some of the things that I've collected. Again, with the boxes, that's an amazing box right there. It's really, really neat. That's like definitely over a hundred years old. I love the little owl, his little dangly legs there. He's so cute. I didn't realize that string was right in front of him. That's another one of those boxes, probably a hundred years old or more, the, with the beautiful repoise, which means it's done from, you know, the relief is from the outside or from the inside pushed out, um, a repoise. Yeah, there's, there's some pretty, so here's my grandma. I told you, um, my grandmother played tennis till she was 80 years old and she, I have her sitting on the shelf watching over me. And there's another beautiful bell. These are very, very early ones. Oh, these boxes right here. This is another, you know, it's, that's got to be a hundred years old. This is done in leather. Oh, and look, there's another box inside of it. Um, there's a cinnabar box back there that I've had since I was just a child because I told you I've been obsessed with uh, the Asian. That's a really good one there. It's another signed piece. Got my my smudging bowl. I've got you guys. Um, I might ask you guys a question in this, and and you must leave a comment so I could add your name into this for another giveaway soon enough. Um, just some you know some cool things. This piece back here is really neat. I must show you. So this was a brooch and it's missing the barb. Look at that. The scale of that. It's huge. It's huge. And it's awesome. It's pretty awesome. Let's see what else. Oh, little camel. He's a box too. He's a little trinket box with a pearl inside that has some cool little writing. Okay, drive safely. Say goodbye. Um, yeah, anyways, just some stuff, guys. Um, this is just my little hoarder's haven here where I've got my little tools, my little scissors, you know, pins and yeah, another cool box back there. I've got boxes everywhere. Down below, the, all of the jewelry here that's right here. And and here's all the jars, guys, that used to be on top of my desk. Well, I can't have them here, so yeah. And boxes of stuff we just haven't got to. Still haven't gone through this, this drawer in here which I was getting rid of. And then there's just boxes and boxes, sorry, down below here. And while well, there's three, three cubbies, the last three down at the bottom are just full of boxes with stuff. And then I've got my scale, well, one of them and diamond tester and some, you know, this is my repair pile here. Um, I've got some, this is, yeah, that's just a little leftover glitter that doesn't fit in my big, huge Martha Stewart thing that's got like, I don't know, it's got a couple of hundred, um, or at least a hundred. Yeah, I think it's a hundred different types of glitter and whatnot. Anyways, this is my craft room, guys. My art room. Let's see. I've got everything around me now. I've got everything I need around me except for all this jewelry. So 
I have a whole bunch of empty jars in the living room that I was going to donate back to the store. I'm going to fill them up with stuff from here, um, stuff from down here, stuff that's in here, stuff that's in there, and tomorrow, 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 tomorrow we're going to go live. Um, uh, probably it's afternoon sometime. I don't know when the girls will be fully available. It is going to be afternoon. Probably I'm thinking, yeah, I won't give you a specific time, but we will be going live. So stay tuned you guys, because, um, not only is there going to be a whole bunch of jars of jewelry that I just need. I just need all this stuff gone. I mean, I honestly do. I don't mind the stuff if it's down in there tucked away, but, um, I just need my space back. I broke a jar this morning that was just sitting down here because there's not enough room. Look, here's my chair. Here's where I'm sitting and I don't have a lot of space. It's not a very big room. And Yes, I need this stuff gone. I need it gone, so jewelry jars is the way to go. That's going to help me out a lot. And uh, vintage jewelry box, all coming for auction tomorrow, guys. Um, so please stay tuned. Set your set your bell notification. Set your bell for notifications so you know uh, when we do go live. Um, because I'm very unclear of exactly what time, but I'm sure tomorrow maybe Tasha and I will do a little, uh, what do you call that? Um, yeah, where it's just a picture of the two of us. That thing. <laughs> We're going to do one of those, and so you guys will know exactly what time, but um, yeah. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Uh, we sure do appreciate you, and if you like vintage jewelry, sterling silver, and treasure hunts, jewelry jars, uh, please stay tuned for tomorrow, you guys. I'll be bringing you lots of lovelies for sale. So thank you, and you guys have a beautiful and blessed day, and peace. See you soon. Bye-bye.